we need to write this equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And that means we need to take this 45 to the left-hand side of the equation so that we have x squared minus 4x minus 45 is equal to zero. Now, at this stage, you must make sure that the coefficient of x squared is one, and it is one in this regard. Now we are going to divide the coefficient of x by two and square it. And the coefficient of x is minus four. We divide it by two, we square that, and we get four as the answer. Now we are going to add this four and subtract this four in that equation. Then we say x squared minus four x plus four minus four minus 45 is equal to zero. This just gives us zero. We haven't changed the equation, but for the sake of completing the square, we have to do that. And now we shall enclose the positive four with these terms. Then we say x squared minus four x plus four minus four, the negative one goes with the constant, minus 45 is equal to zero. Now we realize this is a perfect square and this can be written as x minus two squared minus 49, that gives us zero. Now you take this minus 49 to the right-hand side of the equation. Then you say x minus 2 squared is equal to 49. Now you take the root on both sides of that equation. So we have plus or minus 49 on the right-hand side. Then we have x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the root of 49. Then we say x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 7. We take this minus 2 to the right-hand side. We have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 7. And we get x is equal to 9. 2 plus 7, that's 9. Or 2 minus 7, you get minus 5. We have managed to solve that quadratic equation using the method of completing the square. Thanks for watching.